I dug out my old Amiga 1000 from the garage a while back and was super surprised that this 40 year old PC still runs. Check this out. So when I was about 11 or 12, my father, hoping to get me back on school track, uh, decided to get me a computer. We looked all over and I would have been fine with the 286 or an Apple II model uh, that we'd looked at, but then we found the Commodore Amiga. Now this machine at the time was in 1986. So this machine was amazing with a 7.1 megahertz CPU, uh, a 256K of RAM and 256K of ROM, um, and the industry leading GPU, which was an OOCS 640x512i. This machine was the fastest on the market. Amiga started with a base 720k floppy called Kickstart. Now once this base code set had been loaded, you would move on to whatever you were going to load. Workbench 1.3 would be the equivalent to Windows 3.1. Well, actually it's more like the equivalent to Windows 95. It, was, it wasn't until Windows 95 that the rest of the world caught up to what Amiga had done. I was really lucky to work with this machine. It taught me how all computers work, and more importantly, that all computers work the same. Now, standing on top of the Unreal 5 engine and looking back at these days, I would not be the person I am today if it wasn't for the countless hours on this machine. Being the lightning gaming machine that the Amiga was, I thought we would close with a look at Shinobi, one of the many games that this machine burned through.